Hello everybody, Losty here. It is March 18th, 2021, and I will be talking about the brand new Thunder Legend released today, Tiffin. She is a Thunder Legend assist player with a dual light and Thunder Ace for pass and speed up, which is pretty nice. Her main active skill is to take control of the ball at a 50 spirit cost and leave her at 70% action bar. The cooldown is 6 minutes per use, so pretty much when your opponent is in possession of the ball and it's Tifun's turn, she has the option to normally steal using the existing steal mechanics, or she can use this active which immediately transfers the possession of the ball to her at 50 spirit cost and leave her at 70% action bar. Her first passive grants her 30% action speed when she's not in possession of the ball. When she is in possession of the ball, this turns into an active skill pass ability at 50 spirit cost and grants the target 100% action bar, 50% attack power, and 50% increased crit rate. Her second passive grants her 30% crit damage to allies within position and reduces receiving debuff passive effects by 20% of allies in position. Her third passive reduces enemy position recovery effects by 30% and increases the active spirit consumption by 30% for 5 minutes with an active skill. Now this is triggered and refreshed for either the ball control active or her active pass. So what are my thoughts about this player? Well she is definitely not a power assist player. Her kit does not grant a huge amount of offensive capability. Uh, in a single pass. Her active pass grants an increased 50% attack power instead of the standard 40% receiving pass, or in Baltheon's case, 60% receiving pass, and some other boost like uh, an increased critical damage. Uh, additionally, receiving pass in most cases is much stronger than 50% attack increase, so our pass and the resulting damage from the striker is not going to be as high. I wanted to test her out using some one-hit KO compositions to benchmark her against my typical stri uh, typical assist Sakiel or Melissa. Her pass is generally okay, but still lacks the raw power and debuffing effect that some of the other assists have. Her third passive, in my opinion, is also really to take a jab at Stern. Stern in the current game state is ridiculously strong with his 1 minute active block. The only real weakness comes at the scaling spirit consumption, so her third passive is really trying to reduce the frequency of that blocking active by applying pressure to spirit consumption. Her other advantage comes with the active ball possession to make 1v1 shooting scenarios much easier and reliable. With the existing state of reflex and counterattack resist in the back line, stealing using a non dedicated front line can be challenging. This ball possession active not only guarantees the chance to take possession of the ball, but also follow that up with an active pass directly to the striker, which in most cases can lead to a very fast 1v1 shooting scenario against the enemy GK. Overall, I think she will work well with nearly all utility strikers like Vanchi, Eleanor, Mirage, and maybe even more. Uh, there could also be some interesting scenarios where she is played with Uranus mid using a vertical pass debuffer in the front. Something I did notice while I was playing with her, uh, the AI for the front and long passes ignore her as a receiving target for passes and instead passes directly to the striker. I'm not sure if this is intended, and if it is, it really makes the AI control of her fairly questionable. My closing opinion is I think she is a good back pocket assist to have, especially if you tend to use more utility strikers. Even if you do not use utility strikers, I can foresee that ball possession active be useful in certain trials and superb bosses. Last thing, if you do decide to draw for her, make sure to visit the debut shop and claim that limited time cheat, because we all know that's the real prize for getting her. 
that's it for this video. If you found the video interesting or helpful, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.